Okay, so now we're going to begin going over some of the modeling tools in Cinema 4D. First, let's uh, get a, an object here and make it edible. So the first thing we need to do, always be able to, always need to make this edible, otherwise we can't do anything with it. Okay. So we go to the polygons, and I'm going to, I guess mainly I'm going to work with the, probably the polygons at start. And usually before you start modeling, you usually want to change your layout to, to modeling. You, you don't have to. Um, to be honest, I usually just right right click, and all the tools are more or less available there. But if you'd like to go into the go into the modeling view, you can do that. There we go. And you'll see there's there's quite a few tools here available too. And we're gonna try to go through most of these tools here, um, just just to just to let let you know what what every one of them does, Chris. Okay, first we need to be able to select things. So if we go to our selection tool, we can select polygons. We hold down shift, we can select more than one polygon, and the whatnot. Uh, I've discussed the selection and the selection modes and selection loops earlier. <coughs> Alright, first, mm -hmm. let's, um, let's start with these here. These are, these are fairly simple enough. Bevel. Bevel is exactly, I guess, more or less what the icon indicates here, and it's right here. If, you click, if we click and drag, we'll get a bevel. And of course, we still have um, options here. I'll discuss what this does a little bit later, using the other extrude angle, or the other extrude tool. Let's change that back the way it was. And notice we can change, we have options available here, and we can... Uh, also go down here again and go to new transform and it'll, it can it can just step and repeat what we've done so I uh, undo that a few times so if we just barely click and drag we can keep going to new transform and uh, get get the same result every time <laughs> so that's um, what bevel is for simple enough now let's go ahead and discuss we want to bevel all of these faces at once. If we try to use try to use the bevel tool here, if we click and drag, we notice they all bevel out. The faces bevel out separately. <coughs> Which is probably okay. And that's probably what you wanted, what what you would expect, but uh what if you wanted to keep those faces together? Well first there is preserved groups, but notice we have that check, so why isn't it why isn't it preserving the group? That's the reason is because the angle, the maximum angle we turn this up a little bit higher than we go there now. Now it's actually beveling all of those faces. And so we've seen now we've completely beveled all of those faces at once. Now, now that we're at that angle, if we deselect preserve groups, notice that they're not. They're still. They're not. They're extruding all the faces as one piece. They are extruding the faces separately. All right, let's undo that. An extrude tool. The extrude tool is more or less the same tool, except it extrudes straight. It does not bevel or anything. It just extrudes straight. Of course, this is really helpful if you would like to make character characters' arms. If you have your body here, and uh, don't rem and also remember the short remember the shortcut keys if you can. Here's the extrude button, and if you see right down here, the shortcut key is M T or D, we just press that, then we can start using our tool, and remember also if you want to select more faces, you can press the space bar, then you can select, and then press the space bar again to get your, get your tool back, then click and drag again to use the tool once more. <coughs> Alright, now let's uh, go over the inner extrude. The inner extrude, instead of, instead of the bevel, or the extrude, it's it's more or less the last one in the, in the bunch there. Okay, apart from these, click and drag. We can drag inward. So notice it actually comes in, and it keeps these lined up. So if we wanna, we can use that. We can use that in conjunction with the extrude tool, and we can uh, we can uh, just mess around with it. And of course, we have we have options here. Oops, wrong. 
the subdivision so you can actually adjust the subdivision offset and then I get end variation not a whole lot okay Zero. oh and also notice there's create end guns I would leave that off for the most part unless you plan on uh, getting rid of your end guns later and I'll discuss end guns a little bit later I'll get there at that point. Now let's go over that funny thing, the matrix extrude. I'm going to undo this a couple of times. I've actually used that one one particular time. Here it is. We click and drag, and you notice instantly we get really strange things happening. We can we have control over these strange things all in here. We can adjust the rotation of these however we would like. So, you probably won't use it too often, but uh, there, there's been an occasion where I've actually had to use it. Or at least it proved very, very helpful. So we have some options there. Ooh, too much. Oh, and you can adjust the number of steps it takes. So you can make it not too, uh, too crazy if you want to. And you can also just you just have all these controls, so you you'll have to experiment with this to get the results you want. Uh, if there's something you think you can use that for, I've used it. I used it with one of my um with, with my plant lamp. Okay. All right. Now smooth smooth shift. Looks like it just does an extrude, right? However, we bring it up against a corner here, like it indicates in the picture. Notice it doesn't bevel and it doesn't extrude, but it actually shifts this and it creates new geometry here, also. <coughs> and here, so it actually takes it just it can, it like in, in a way it extrudes on all sides without actually extruding it. It creates this new geometry. If we just use extrude alone, if we turn up the angle here, we get we get that. And so if we go back to the selection tool, select this, use the smooth shift. Those are the differences. This is extrude, this is the smooth shift. So it actually in a way kind of rounds out. Not exactly round, but it makes it smooth. Hence, smooth shift. So, that's uh, that pretty much covers those objects there.